your friends Nibs again. Out at the range doing a little bit of plinking tonight. A little bit of uh, goofing around, just doing some test shooting. And what I have here is a pretty cool air rifle. Uh, it's one that uh, hasn't been out for a number of years now. This is actually one that was brought in by one of my friends at the gun store. And he asked me to take a look at it for him, make sure it was working up to par. And uh, so far, I think it's uh, actually doing very good. I tested it back in the garage for a few shots as far as power and speed goes. And it was putting right at or just over a thousand feet per second. So definitely uh, has all of the punch that it was intended to have. And that was with uh, 7.9 grain Crossman Premier hollow points. So that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> so what we have here actually is a Ruger Airhawk which uh, I, I've actually had one of these for quite a few years, at least 10 years now, um, and uh, mine still shoots great. Uh, you know, it's not the most accurate Springer in the, in the garage, but it, it, help, it holds its own. It's got some good power, and uh, I think this one uh, is doing pretty darn good too. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot a couple of groups with it. Uh, I'm just shooting, I'm shooting 25 yards here shoot off the rest. I did mount up a red dot so that I can actually see what I'm doing here uh, and uh, that helps out a lot as far as uh, being able to sight. With open sights on this 25 yards probably wouldn't be uh, very feasible but with this red dot on here um, it's actually doing pretty darn good. So I'm just going to be shooting like I said these Crossman Premier hollow points 7.9 green and uh, we'll go ahead and see what we can do. <clears throat> this one's in really nice shape. The one I have actually fell over in it. Inside the cabin, it's got a big scratch on the side of it. I cleaned it up as best I could, but you can still see it. This one's in pretty nice shape. Let's go ahead and I'll go for the center uh, bullseye for starters. A little high, let me look real quick. Yeah, just above, okay. That's fine, we're just mostly looking for groups. I just wanna make sure this thing is working good before I d deliver it back to its owner. Ruger still does have a a version, I, I don't think it's called just an Airhawk anymore. It's like an Airhawk 1000 or something like that. But uh, it's not the same gun as this one for sure. <clears throat> so, am I expecting pellet and pellet? Pellet on pellet? Nope. This rest is actually a nice, nice rest for shooting springers off from it. it it's got a lot, you know, it lets the gun move nice and freely. It's not restricting the gun at all. So uh, it's very much like shooting off of a, uh, like a rolled up blanket as far as give goes. All right, not doing bad. <clears throat> really enjoying my PCPs, but sometimes it's just nice to get out a nice old Springer and just plink away. Not bad, not bad. forgotten <laughs> my uh, my airhawk has the same kind of just long and mushy trigger and uh, takes a lot of getting used to to really get a good shot off all right let's do a few more
but it's definitely got enough power to take out a squirrel and it's got enough accuracy to be viable for you know at least 25 yards as a squirrel hunting gun for sure uh, i'm not sure exactly what the foot pounds of energy is but uh you know shooting these at a thousand feet per second that's more than enough for a squirrel or a rabbit or other small game like that it's about a, about a couple inch group there not horrible at all from a nice budget springer and it's a about a 3 MOA red dot <laughs> it's a CV 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 life it's actually a red or green dot I'm actually using the green dot right now cuz that gives me a little bit of contrast against the red dot that's downrange them are outside of that two inch circle but mo most of them are right in there pretty good so I think the I think the old guy that had this this gun that asked me to take a look at it for him I, I'm not sure he ever even shot it he just goes to a bunch of auctions and a lot of times they have pellet guns there and nobody else even bids on them so he just picks them up real cheap Got a, so he's just got a pile, one corner of just one room in his house is just stacked up with air guns. He said he's going to bring them in a little bit at a time for me to take a look at and play around with and do videos on. He's already brought in a few for me to look at and play around with. A lot of fun. I think he's trying to start to stack them in there pretty good. Oh, that's why I was trying to stick it in there backwards. But uh, quite a lot of fun. Like I said, I, I'm not exactly sure when I picked up my air hawk. It, it was at least 10 years ago. I know that easily 10 years ago. There used to be a retail company in around the area here called Sports Authority. And they've been out of, out of the area for at least 10 years. And uh, I bought the gun from them it was they were actually going out of business and they had the gun for I believe I paid $86 for it on sale <laughs> so but uh, anyway there you go let me give you a little flyby on this guy real quick but uh, really uh, kind of a pretty piece of wood just kind of plain beech nut but really nice for a again budget real budget friendly gun Normally these would retail for 110, 120, but I, like I said, I picked that one up uh, from Sports Authority as they were going. To, I don't think they were actually going out of business. The whole company at that time, I think they may be now, but uh, at that time they were just closing down their New York stores. Knocking them little right out of that target. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. We'll wrap it up here, but I thought you guys would appreciate coming along while I was testing this one out for my friend. Pretty cool old Springer. I don't know if 
if there's any way to any way to put a to date these as far maybe with a production number serial number or something but uh, I haven't figured it out yet if anybody knows let me know in the comments down below but there you go Ruger Airhawk uh, older version uh, exactly like the one that I have at home which I know is at least 10 maybe 12 years old and uh, this one is exactly like that one I have seen the newer Airhawks and they're nothing like this so anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.